Welcome back today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of coin collecting, specifically focusing on one of the most iconic coins in American history, the wheat penny. These little one-cent coins, minted between 1909 and 1958, may look humble, but some are worth a fortune. So, grab your magnifying glass and get ready to discover the top 10 most valuable ultra-rare wheat pennies on the market today. Let's get started. The 1945 Wheat Penny Specifically, we'll be focusing on a fascinating version of this coin one without a mint mark and in a unique black color shade. Why is this coin so intriguing to collectors? And why does it hold significant value in today's market? Stick around as we uncover the hidden secrets of this tiny treasure. The Wheat Penny, also known as the Lincoln Cent, was minted from 1909 to 1958. It was the first U.S coin to feature an actual person President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse. The reverse of the coin features two wheat stalks, giving it the nickname Wheat Penny. These coins were made primarily from copper and are beloved by collectors for their historical significance and aesthetic appeal. The 1945 Wheat Penny was struck towards the end of World War II, a time when the U.S. was still recovering from the effects of war. Due to the need for resources, the composition of the penny remained copper, but there were experimental changes, especially in the appearance and preservation of the coin. Mint marks on coins help us identify where they were produced. For example, D stands for the Denver Mint and S for San Francisco. If a penny has no mint mark, like the 1945 wheat penny we're discussing today, it means it was minted in Philadelphia. This lack of a mint mark doesn't usually affect the coin's value, but it's a key identifier that collectors take note of. So, why does the absence of a mint mark on this particular 1945 penny matter today? It's more about the coin's unique condition than just where it was minted. Now, let's talk about the black shade condition. Some 1945 wheat pennies have developed a distinct black or dark toned appearance. This could be due to various factors including oxidation, exposure to chemicals, or environmental conditions over the years. When copper coins like the wheat penny are exposed to the elements, they can tarnish and change color. While this blackened state might seem like damage at first glance to some collectors, it adds character and uniqueness to the coin. Coins in such distinct conditions can attract more attention, especially if they are rare or difficult to find. Now, let's get to the part everyone's waiting for the current value of a 1945 wheat penny without a mint mark, especially in this black shade condition. Typically, a regular 1945 wheat penny might fetch anywhere between $360,000, depending on its condition. But what about the blackened, tarnished ones? Coin with unique coloration or conditions can often attract the attention of niche collectors who are willing to pay a premium for something different. In the case of a 1945 wheat penny with a black shade, the value can rise significantly. Some collectors may see this as a rare variant and in the right circumstances, such a coin could sell for upwards of $750,000 or more. The market value can depend on factors like the overall rarity of the black shaded penny, its condition and the demand from collectors. Coins with a striking black patina, while unusual, could be considered a novelty or even an accidental masterpiece in the eyes of the right buyer. So how can you tell if you have one of these valuable 1945 wheat pennies? First, check for the absence of a mint mark. Remember, Philadelphia minted coins from this era won't have one. Next, observe the color and texture. Does it have a distinctive black or dark tone that sets it apart from typical pennies? If so, you might just have a hidden treasure. At the end of the day, the value of a coin is not just about its face value or age, it's about the story it tells, the condition it's in, and the rarity it offers. So, if you come across a 1945 wheat penny without a mint mark, especially in this rare black shade, don't overlook it, it could be worth far more than you think. Next up, the 1944 D wheat penny. This seemingly simple one cent coin might be hiding a surprising value that could make any collector's heart race. So, if you're curious about the market worth of this rare coin and what makes it so special, stick around. The 1944D Wheat Penny is part of the Lincoln Penny series, which was first introduced in 1909. Designed by Victor David Brenner, this coin features President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse 
and two stalks of wheat on the reverse, symbolizing prosperity and agriculture. But what sets the 1944D apart from other pennies? It was struck during World War II when copper was scarce, leading to the minting of pennies using zinc-coated steel in 1943. In 1944, however, the mint returned to copper, creating a high demand for these coins. The D-mint mark indicates that this penny was minted in Denver, Colorado. So, what's this coin worth today? Well, in fine condition, a 1944D wheat penny can fetch anywhere from $270,000 but wait. If your penny is in better condition, the value skyrockets. In very fine to extra fine condition, prices can soar to $450,000. Uncirculated specimens can command prices $300,000 and there have even been reports of high-grade examples selling for over $900,000 at auction. Now, you might be wondering how to identify a 1944D wheat penny in your collection. First, look for the D-mint mark, located just below the date on the obverse side. Check the coin's condition factors like wear, scratches, and luster play a significant role in its value. Use a magnifying glass and reference guides to assess its grade accurately. Remember, the better the condition, the higher the potential value. If you're looking to add a 1944D wheat penny to your collection or want to sell one, here are some tips. Attend local coin shows, join numismatic clubs, or explore online marketplaces like eBay or Etsy. Always verify the seller's reputation and consider getting your coin graded by a professional service if you believe it holds significant value. This could enhance its worth and provide you with a more accurate appraisal. Next up, the 1957D wheat penny. If you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about what makes this penny so special, stick around as we explore its history, rarity, and current market value. The wheat penny was first introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's birth. It features two stalks of wheat on the reverse side, giving it its nickname. The design was created by the famed engraver Victor David Brenner, and it remained in circulation until 1958. In 1957, the U.S. Mint produced three variations of the Lincoln penny, the standard penny, the 1957D, and the 1957S. The D mint mark indicates it was minted in Denver, Colorado. This year, the mintage numbers were quite high, but what makes the 1957D wheat penny stand out today? The 1957D wheat penny is composed of 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. It has a diameter of 19 millimeters and a weight of 3.11 grams. But what really matters for collectors is the condition of the coin. In numismatics, the grading system is crucial. The 1957D in extra fine condition shows minimal wear with all details clearly visible and the design intact. Collectors seek out coins in higher grades as they tend to fetch better prices in the market. Now, let's talk about rarity and value. While many 1957D wheat pennies are still in circulation today, only a fraction are found in extra fine condition. The key to the coin's value lies in its condition and market demand. As of now, the market value for a 1957D wheat penny in extra fine condition can range from $150,000 depending on the coin's specific features, such as luster and the absence of blemishes. Hold on if you're fortunate enough to own one in mint state condition, it could be worth significantly more sometimes upwards of $300,000 or even higher. Wrap things up, the 1957D wheat penny is not just a piece of currency, it's a tangible piece of history that holds value for both collectors and enthusiasts. If you have one in your collection, Consider its condition and market trends it may be worth more than you think. Next up the 1946 wheat penny without a mint mark. If you're a coin collector or just curious about the value of this little piece of history, you're in for a treat. First, let's quickly cover what a wheat penny is. Produced from 1909 to 1958, these pennies feature two stalks of wheat on the reverse side. They were designed by Victor David Brenner who also designed the famous Lincoln penny. Wheat pennies were made primarily from copper, which gives them that distinctive reddish-brown color. Now, let's hone in on the 1946 wheat penny. 
This particular coin is significant because it's one of the first wheat pennies minted after World War II. The 1946 penny was produced in large numbers, but today we'll focus on the rare variant those without a mint mark. Mint marks are small letters that indicate where a coin was produced. For the 1946 wheat penny, there are three known mint locations Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. However, only the pennies minted in Philadelphia have no mint mark at all. This makes the 1946 Philadelphia wheat penny particularly interesting to collectors. When assessing the rarity and value of a coin, condition is everything. A 1946 wheat penny in pristine red condition is much rarer than one that's tarnished or worn. Coins in red condition retain their original copper color and shine, making them more desirable among collectors. Let's look at how these factors play into its current market value. As of now, the market value of a 1946 wheat penny without a mint mark varies significantly. In average circulated condition, it may only fetch around $430,000. However, if you have one in red condition, it can be valued anywhere from $490,000 or even more, depending on the market demand and the specifics of the coin's condition. Exceptional examples might even sell for upwards of $600,000 in auctions. To maintain the value of your coins, proper storage is crucial. Use coin holders or flips to protect them from the elements and avoid touching them with bare hands. Keeping them in a controlled environment can help preserve their condition. There you have it. The 1946 wheat penny without a mint mark is a fascinating and valuable piece for collectors, especially in red condition. If you're lucky enough to find one, it could be worth more than you think. Next up, the 1956 D Wheat Penny. If you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about what's lurking in your pocket change, stick around because this penny could be worth a lot more than you think. First, let's take a quick look at the Wheat Penny itself. Minted from 1909 to 1958, the Wheat Penny, or the one cent coin, features two iconic sheaves of wheat on the reverse side, this design was created by Victor David Brenner and has become a staple in American coin collecting. The obverse side showcases President Abraham Lincoln, while the reverse side highlights those beautiful wheat stalks, symbolizing the country's agricultural roots. Now, let's zoom in on the star of today's video, the 1956 D Wheat Penny. The D Mint mark indicates that this penny was produced at the Denver Mint, and its production year makes it one of the more common varieties. However, it's not just any 1956 D, we're talking about specific conditions and color shades that can significantly affect its value. When assessing the value of a 1956 D wheat penny, two key factors come into play condition and color. Pennies that have never been circulated, known as uncirculated coins, tend to fetch much higher prices. These coins often display a rich, vibrant luster that is highly sought after by collectors. The color shade also matters. A 1956 D wheat penny in red condition, showing bright copper color, can be significantly more valuable than one that appears brown or tarnished. The rarer the color, the higher the demand, driving up its market value. As of today, the market for a 1956 D wheat penny varies dramatically based on its condition. A well-circulated penny might be worth $100,000, but in uncirculated condition, it can command anywhere from $300,000. However, if you have a pristine specimen with a deep red hue, it could fetch upwards of $450,000 or more at auction. Get it graded if you think your penny is exceptional. Consider having it graded by a professional service like the Professional Coin Grading Service or the numismatic guarantee company this can significantly impact its value. To wrap it up, the 1956 D Wheat Penny is more than just a piece of change it could be a hidden treasure in your collection or pocket. Whether you're an avid collector or just getting started, always keep an eye out for those valuable coins. You never know what you might find. Next up, the 1956 Wheat Penny without a mint mark. If you have one of these coins stashed away, you might want to hold on tight because it could be worth more than you think. The Wheat Penny, officially known as the Lincoln Penny, was produced from 1909 to 1958. Designed by Victor David Brenner, it features President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and a pair of wheat stalks on the reverse. This design was immensely popular, reflecting America's agricultural roots. 
Today, we're focusing specifically on the 1956 version. The 1956 Wheat Penny is particularly interesting because it comes in two varieties, those with a mint mark and those without. The ones produced in Philadelphia, which did not have a mint mark, are rarer compared to their Denver and San Francisco counterparts. This absence of a mint mark is what makes the 1956 penny without a mint mark special. Now, let's talk about condition the value of a coin can fluctuate significantly based on its condition, which is graded on a scale from poor to mint state. The red color shade condition indicates that the penny has retained its original copper luster, showing no signs of oxidation or discoloration. Coins in red condition are considered highly collectible and can fetch a premium price. The 1956 wheat penny in this condition can be quite valuable. So, how much is this coin worth today? As of now, a 1956 wheat penny without a mint mark in red condition can range from $500,000 more, depending on the market demand and specific grading. The key factors affecting its value include its rarity, condition, and current collector interest. If you think you have a valuable 1956 wheat penny, it's crucial to handle it with care. Avoid cleaning the coin with harsh chemicals, as this can decrease its value. Instead, store it in a protective holder or a coin flip to preserve its condition. To wrap things up, the 1956 wheat penny without a mint mark is not just another piece of change, it's a collector's item with potential value. Next up, the 1941 one-cent coin without a mint mark. It's a fascinating piece of history, and it might just be worth more than you think. First, let's quickly recap what a wheat penny is. Minted from 1909 to 1958, these coins feature the iconic design by Victor David Brenner, showcasing President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and two stalks of wheat on the reverse. The wheat penny was a staple in American currency, and collectors love them for their historical significance and unique design. Now, Let's focus on the 1941 wheat penny, specifically the version without a mint mark. In 1941, the Philadelphia Mint produced a significant number of these coins, but due to various factors, not all of them are created equal. The absence of a mint mark indicates that it was minted in Philadelphia, unlike its counterparts from the Denver and San Francisco Mints, which have their own distinct marks. What makes the 1941 wheat penny particularly interesting is its condition. Today, we're focusing on the extra fine condition, which means the coin shows minimal wear with clear details and little to no blemishes. Coins in this condition are becoming increasingly rare and collectors are willing to pay a premium for them. Now, you might be wondering, what's this coin worth? As of now, a 1941 wheat penny without a mint mark in extra fine condition can fetch anywhere from $400,000, depending on the demand and the specific details of the coin. However, in exceptional circumstances like being part of a collection or having a unique provenance this coin could see prices skyrocket even further. Some collectors have reported sales in the range of $490,000 for pristine examples. If you think you might have one of these hidden gems, it's crucial to know how to assess the condition of your coin. Look for details like the sharpness of the wheat stalks, the clarity of Lincoln's features, and any signs of wear on the surfaces. A simple magnifying glass can help you get a closer look at these important details. If you've got a 1941 wheat penny that you'd like to sell or trade, there are several options. Local coin shops are a great place to start. They can give you an appraisal and may even make you an offer. Additionally, online platforms like eBay and specialized coin auction sites can connect you with collectors who might be looking for exactly what you have. Always store your coins in a safe, dry place. Use holders or flips to protect them from damage. Keep abreast of the market trends coin values can fluctuate based on demand and collector interest. Join a local or online coin club to connect with fellow enthusiasts and gain valuable insights. Next up, the 1942 wheat penny without a mint mark. If you think all pennies are just pocket change, think again. This particular penny has captured the attention of collectors and investors alike due to its rarity and value in today's market. So, let's explore why this coin is so special. The wheat penny, also known as the Lincoln penny, was produced by the United States Mint from 1909 to 1958. 
The coin features the iconic image of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and two stalks of wheat on the reverse. In 1942, the U.S. Mint faced significant challenges due to World War II, which affected coin production and metal composition. Now, what makes the 1942 wheat penny without a mint mark so unique? Well, it was minted in Philadelphia, where no mint mark was added to indicate its origin. This penny is not only a beautiful representation of American history, but also a significant collectible due to its limited production. The condition of a coin plays a crucial role in determining its value. The 1942 wheat penny in fine condition is a standout piece. Fine condition typically means that the coin shows some wear, but the design is still clear, with some details visible on both the obverse and reverse. Collecting enthusiasts often seek coins that are in fine or better condition, as these can fetch higher prices. In fact, a 1942 wheat penny without a mint mark in fine condition can be worth significantly more than its face value. But how much, exactly? Let's find out. As of today, the market value of a 1942 wheat penny without a mint mark in fine condition ranges from approximately $250,000 however, Prices can vary based on demand, market conditions, and the coin's exact grade. In exceptional cases, especially for uncirculated coins, the value can soar even higher. Collectors frequently monitor auction sites and coin shows, where rare coins like the 1942 wheat penny can sell for much more than expected. It's not unusual for well-preserved examples to fetch bids of $300,000 or more. Keep in mind that factors such as provenance, demand, and market trends can influence these values. Now that you understand the value of this penny, let's talk about how to identify and care for it. Look for the absence of a mint mark on the reverse side. This indicates it was minted in Philadelphia. Additionally, familiarize yourself with the details of the design to help assess its condition accurately. When it comes to care, always handle your coins with clean hands or wear cotton gloves. Store them in a cool, dry place and consider using coin holders or albums to protect them from scratches and environmental damage. Never clean coins with abrasive materials as this can reduce their value. Sum it up, the 1942 wheat penny without a mint mark is a valuable piece of American history, especially in fine condition. With its rising market value, it's a great addition to any coin collection. If you have one of these coins, take good care of it, it might be worth more than you think. Next up the valuable 1944 wheat penny without a mint mark. This seemingly ordinary coin has captured the attention of collectors and investors alike, and we're here to uncover its true worth, even in less than ideal condition. First, let's take a closer look at the 1944 wheat penny. Struck during a significant year in American history, this coin features the iconic wheat design on the reverse side and the portrait of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse. But what makes this particular penny so special? 1944 was the height of World War II and the US. Mint was working hard to produce coins amid a national crisis. While many coins were made during this time, the 1944 wheat penny holds a unique position in the market. It was minted in large quantities, but one specific variety stands out the 1944 penny without a mint mark. Now, let's talk about the mint mark. A penny without a mint mark means it was produced in Philadelphia, the main mint at the time. Other 1944 wheat pennies were minted in Denver and San Francisco, which have their own unique mint marks. Here's where it gets interesting despite being more common than its counterparts. The 1944 penny without a mint mark can still hold significant value. You might be wondering how much could a 1944 wheat penny without a mint mark be worth, especially if it's in bad condition, the answer may surprise you. Even in poor condition, this penny can fetch anywhere from a few cents to several dollars. Collectors are often willing to pay a premium for these coins, especially as they continue to become harder to find. In fact, prices can vary significantly depending on the coin's condition. For example, a 1944 penny in good condition might sell for around $290,000. As the condition improves to fine or very fine, the value can rise to between $500,000 and in extremely fine condition, the price can exceed $700,000.
at auction or through reputable coin dealers, you might even see prices in the $900,000 range for coins that are well preserved. So, if you happen to stumble upon a 1944 wheat penny without a mint mark, don't dismiss it just because it looks worn or damaged. It might be worth more than you think. Coin collecting is not just about the investment, it's also about the history and stories behind each piece. The 1944 wheat penny is a reminder of a tumultuous time in American history and a tangible piece of our past. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for these coin. So, what's the takeaway? The 1944 wheat penny without a mint mark is indeed a valuable coin, even in bad condition. If you have one, consider getting it appraised. You never know how much it might be worth. Thanks for joining us today. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more insights into the world of coins and collectibles. Let us know in the comments if you have a 1944 wheat penny or if you've ever come across a hidden treasure. Until next time, happy collecting.